Hello, how are you today? Hey, I hope things are going great where you are. I want to read a few verses to you and just want to share from the heart. Revelation chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which, which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ, who was the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Amen for God's word. Hey, I wanted to share with you today uh, that some interesting things are happening in the atmosphere. On April 14th, 2010, which was yesterday, there was um, a huge ball of light in the sky, and this ball of light was seen streaking across the sky, and it was seen in northern Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, and southern Wisconsin. That's pretty amazing. You might wonder why I'm outside doing uh, a video tonight. Uh, which is sort of backlit. You may not be able to see everything in the foreground as clearly uh, as we normally would, but I'm, I'm out here for effect. I want you to see the evening sky, the dusk sky right behind me, and I want to just talk to you about the fact that um, this verse in Revelation has always been a mystery. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. It's always been a mystery because, as we know, the earth revolves. In fact, the entire galaxy uh, is in motion. And it always was amazing to us, uh, to me, uh, how uh, the every eye would see him. But last night's phenomenon with the meteor uh, in the, the central section of the U.S. Uh, gave evidence to the fact that um, it is possible for a phenomenon to happen in the sky wherein every eye literally will see him. That wasn't the Lord coming. When he comes, there's going to be a, another huge sound. Last night there was a sonic boom. But when he comes, there's going to be a trumpet sound. And we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with the dead in Christ. And we're going to meet the Lord and we're going to be with him forever. Hey, I just want to encourage you today. The signs of the times are all around us. He does come with clouds. And yes, every eye will see him. I pray that all of us who claim to know the Lord, in fact, that our lives will be more committed, we be more so vessels of honor now more than ever. He's coming soon. And guess what? There's not going to be any time to get ready, so we got to be ready. Be encouraged today. He is coming, and every eye will see him. Let's rejoice in that. We're not going to have to wail because of his coming. We're going to rejoice in that day. God bless you. Be encouraged. Until we meet or speak again, God bless you in Jesus' name.